Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. Today I'm going to bring you guys a full dedicated video on how to hook up the Korg NTS-1 to any normal 5-pin MIDI enabled MIDI controller, such as today's device, the Arturia Keystep. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a Korg NTS-1, of course. You're obviously also going to need a MIDI controller with a five pin MIDI out port. I'm using the Arturia Keystep as stated earlier. You're also gonna need a power source for each of these devices. So I'm gonna use my power bank here to power the NTS-1. And then I'm just gonna use a micro USB cable coming out of my computer to power my Arturia Keystep. You're also going to need a normal five pin MIDI cable. This is a male on both ends, just MIDI to MIDI. You'd normally plug it into the MIDI port and then plug it into another five pin MIDI port, which is basically what we're gonna do. And last, you're gonna need this. This is the item in question. So this is a five pin female MIDI port to a TRS eighth inch jack. So the Korg NTS-1 has an eighth inch MIDI in jack, which we are going to use with this cable. It plugs in just like that and then we plug this end into the other end of our MIDI cable. However, these little adapters are not created equally. Some of these do not actually carry MIDI signal. And it's a little more complicated than that. There is a link to a Reddit post in the description. If you click on that, you can read the whole thing. Uh, there's people there that are much smarter than I am and they explain it pretty well. But you need one of these that carries a MIDI signal. This is the number one reason why people can't get this setup to work. So. This exact cable is actually sold out on Amazon right now. However, I have an alternative listed in the description down below that's about $15, which is what I paid for this one, but it works just the same. And I have had people confirm to me that it works. So that is the cable you need to pick up. Buyer beware, there are cheaper ones on Amazon and other places. If you pick them up, they will not work. I'm not exactly sure why, but again, it's all in that Reddit post. Um, they're for like older stereo equipment and they don't have anything to do with MIDI. So this is the one you need. Click the link or really do your research before you buy one of these. This is the like key piece to this whole setup. So once you've got your cable and everything, go ahead and power on your devices. So we'll plug in our micro USB there. Plug in our micro USB here. Oop, there we go. We've got the key step powered on, we've got the NTS-1 powered on, and now what we're gonna do is take our eighth inch to five pin MIDI adapter, and we are going to plug it into the MIDI in port on the back, MIDI in. There we go, just like that. Now we're gonna take the other end of that and plug it into our MIDI five pin cable. Line those up, cool. Now we are going to plug this into the MIDI out port of our Arturia key step, just like that. Okay, and it's a bit, I've got them set up a bit awkward here in terms of where the cables are. So now, no sound. Some of you might get sound here, and uh, if so, then congratulations, you're done, that's all you needed. However, if you don't get sound, the next step is to make sure that both of these devices are on the same MIDI channel. Now to do this is pretty simple. On the key step, it's really easy. You see these, uh, numbers here printed in blue above the first octave and a half or so of the keys. Those are the keyboard MIDI channel, as it says. So all we have to do to change those is hold shift and then press one of those 16 keys and it'll switch to that channel. For the sake of simplicity, I'm holding shift. I'm just gonna press the first F right there, which is channel one. So now the key step is on channel one. Let's see if we have sound. No sound, which means that the NTS-1 also needs to be set to channel one. So to change the MIDI channel on this, it's still pretty simple, just a bit different of a process. So first step is to unplug the power cable, completely turn off the NTS-1. Next, hold the reverb button down, and while you're holding it down, go ahead and power on the NTS-1 by plugging it back in. Now you'll see we're on this kind of secret menu that you haven't probably seen before. Now we're gonna use the first knob, the type knob, to scroll all the way to where it says CHN. There we go, CHN for channel. And then you see it has the number four there. Now you might think that this means it's on channel four, which it does not. The NTS-1 has different labels for its MIDI channels. It's really silly. So if we use knob B, we can scroll up and down through all the channels. 
And there are 16 different values, so it can go to all 16 different channels, but it starts at zero. So when it says zero on the NTS-1, that actually means it's channel one. So zero is channel one, one is channel two, two is channel three, three is channel four, four is channel five, five is channel six, six is channel seven, seven is channel eight, eight is channel nine, nine is channel 10. And then it goes to the letter A. A is channel 11, B is channel 12, C is channel 13, D is channel 14, E is channel 15, and F is channel 16. So since we set the key step to channel one, turn knob B all the way down to zero, channel zero, press the ARP button. That's gonna save our settings, and it's gonna reboot the NTS-1. And after the NTS-1 is rebooted, in theory, if everything is done right, there we go, we've got MIDI working. So it really is that easy. That's all you need. The big hurdle for most folks is getting the right adapter. Um, like I said, most of them don't work, and I, I don't exactly know why, but most of them do not work. You need to find one that actually has MIDI. If you read the reviews, sometimes people will mention them, sometimes they won't. If you want the easiest way to do it, just hit the uh, Amazon affiliate link in the description, pick one up, it's like $15, and uh, it, it just makes everything work. So yeah, we have full access to the NTS-1 sounds now. Uh, we can still use the, or we can use the arpeggiator uh, or the sequencer of the key step. So we can go like. As you can tell, um, yeah, you can just kind of get lost in the uh, NTS-1 sounds using the sequencer on the Arturia key step. Really kind of rounds this off as just a complete package. These are a great pair together. All you really need, the only kind of weird piece of gear you need is this one little cable. So hopefully that answers all the questions of how to pair these guys up. Of course, if you have questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them or get the questions to someone who can answer them. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike, that's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, check out the links in the description down below. I upload a new video every single day and right now we're on our way to 800 subscribers. We're just a few away from 700, which is nuts. Thank you guys. That happened very quickly. Don't know what else to say. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.